Let's actually let's keep you over here. I like to teach in the corner. Let's go. Let's go. Scoot, scoot, scoot. Now face me. All right, so. Now, for instructional purposes, she's going to put her legs in a really stupid place. Okay, sometimes I got to force that to happen. Okay, when I'm going to, when I know I'm going to set this, this, uh, this saddle up, I'm purposely going to like dig my toes almost underneath their butt. So I'm like making full strong contact. Okay, I step back, lower myself down, pull the far side leg, figure four right away. Just like Connor did, I controlled that far side leg. I'm going to cross her legs, get my hands together in an S grip or a gable grip. I'm going to pull her shin into her calf muscle for the leg lace. I'm crossing her legs and attacking her Achilles and her calf with her own shin. Now it doesn't matter how you set up your saddle, that's one of the easier attacks to do from there. Okay, one more time. I'm making close contact. I back step, grab the far side leg, lower down figure four. Shoot, I cross the ankles, shoot my hand between the feet, make contact, pull. Okay, I'm pulling. I can also kind of engage my legs out just a little bit to get a little bit of a stretch in her legs. Okay, and she should feel relatively compromised. You agree? Cool. That's a fun little one, not hard to do. And once you understand the mechanics of the leg lace, you kind of see it in a couple different places.